What's going on everybody? Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports here and today I'm going to show you how to remove your factory headlight housings on your Ford Bronco. Now looking at this, don't get too intimidated right off the bat. There is a couple different things you have to remove to get to the headlights, but it's actually really simple and you can do this all with basic hand tools in your driveway. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Starting off, you're going to want to pop the hood on your Bronco and we're going to remove these plastic clips that are scattered along the front of the cowl. From here, you can work the cowl out of the truck, but it does tend to catch on this air inlet. So if you want to make it easy on yourself, you can pop this inlet off by lifting up on it and kind of tilting it back towards the engine bay. And then just like that, it pops off. It's just held in there with some plastic tabs that keep pressure on it. So with that out of the way, the cowl lifts right up and we can take it out. Now we've got four screws here lined up along the inside of the grill that we've got to remove with a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. From here, all we need to do is pull the grill straight out away from the truck and we'll just kind of pop the corners on the sides and it should come free. Before we go in and unbolt the headlight housing from the truck, there's one little screw on each side that's hidden behind this plastic valance. And in order to remove this, you are gonna have to pull your fender flare off. Thankfully, it's a really simple process on the Bronco. So I'm gonna undo the five plastic tabs inside the fender flare, pop it away, and then we can unclip the corner. And there's really no hardware holding this and it's plastic. So it's really simple to pull this out to get access to that screw. It's worth noting here that this will give you plenty of space on one side, but if you're doing both headlights, you'll just wanna remove the fender flare on the opposite end so you can take the whole valance off. Grab a small ratchet and an eight millimeter socket to back this screw out. Next, you'll wanna grab a ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket to remove these two screws at the top of the headlight housing. Get your pry tool again, and we're gonna remove this Christmas tree clip here that's back on the other side of the screw we just removed. We're finally to the point where we can remove the whole housing from the truck, and typically you'll wanna put your hand down here at the bottom of the headlight housing on the outside near the fender, and then you're gonna to wanna to grab over here where your blinker is, cause there's still one more tab holding it in that you'll need to pop forward, and then we're just gonna bring the light straight out. Thankfully, these lights are nice and simple, so there's only one harness going into the back, and you're just gonna push in on this tab, pull the harness out, that'll disconnect it, and now the light can come free. Well, there you have it. That's what it takes to pull out your factory headlight housings, and hopefully this was a helpful video for you guys if you're doing a headlight upgrade or swapping these out for aftermarket units. And obviously, to reinstall them, you're just gonna walk back on the same steps that we did to remove them. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.